David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you the latest release from the luxury brand SD DuPont, and that would be the Line D Gold Dust. Uh, this is not a limited edition model, but it is a US exclusive edition. Uh, SD DuPont is a brand which is gaining a little bit more traction here in the U.S. luxury market ever since Coles of London took over the U.S. distribution of the brand. Thanks go out to Coles of London for providing the pen you will see today on loan for review. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Line D Gold Dust, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the pen. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Um, I have mentioned this is a luxury pen. While at the DC show, I happened to get a sneak peek at some upcoming releases from SD DuPont that uh, serve as more of an entry point into the brand at a price point I feel folks will care for. I'm really looking forward to being able to share more about that new release in the future, closer to when it launches. Uh, SD DuPont pens are manufactured in their factory in Faverge, France, which is near the French Alps. Uh, it looks like a beautiful part of the country. The pen arrives in this box. It's not particularly ornate, and that's fine. What's more important is what's inside the box. Um, there is a warranty card, as well as a rather thick use and care guide. Uh, the applicable information in here is only a couple of pages, but it's translated into like 12 or 13 languages, which accounts for the thickness. And then we have the pen. This is the SD DuPont Line D Gold Dust. I know from a distance this material just looks black, but there is a bit more going on here. The pen is made from brass, and then nine layers of natural black lacquer are hand-painted onto the barrel. Uh, the result is a like a pearl-like shimmer and a luxurious finish that is resistant to shock and scratches and even fire. I will not be testing the fire resistance of this pen which has been loaned to me. Uh, once the base lacquer is polished, it's embellished with a sprinkling of gold dust. Uh, since this is done by hand, the distribution of gold dust on each pen is going to vary. Uh, this is a pen with a very subtle elegance rather than something that, you know, makes an in-your-face bold statement. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. Uh, it is adorned with the SD DuPont D logo. Uh, since my first initial is D, I've always liked the looks of that on the finial. Uh, this transitions into the articulating clip. Um, I feel it's size appropriate for this pen. Uh, on it, there's a black lacquer field shield, which is part of the heraldry of the brand. Uh, the cap is a bit bulbous. It kind of reminds me a bit of the cap on the Montblanc Starwalker. Uh, the transition from the cap to the barrel is tapered and smooth. The barrel begins with a gold band. Uh, it's engraved with SD DuPont. Uh, this is a very high quality engraving. Uh, on the back side, it says Paris. And finally, there's this leaf symbol, which symbolizes the use of Chinese lacquer on the pen. The barrel tapers down at an even angle. And then on the end, there is a solid gold metal piece with a ring used as part of the posting mechanism. Uh, the cap snaps off. Uh, it's interesting. The cap sna snaps off silently, but when you cap the pen, it makes a rather large snap. Uh, this is intentional. Uh, it's meant to mimic the distinctive ring you hear when opening one of SD DuPont's luxury lighters. Uh, once you have removed the cap, underneath we have a 14 karat gold nib. Uh, I love the stamping on SD DuPont nibs. I feel it looks very classy. Uh, the nib is available in either fine or medium. And here's a look at the plastic feed. I like the low profile feed and how it hugs the underside of the nib. Uh, the nib is approximately a number five. Uh, while a number six size would be nice, I feel the size of this nib works well in regard to the overall lines of the pen. Um, I love the looks of this section. It begins with a rather pronounced flare and is encircled with grooves. It angles up fairly steeply into the step up to the remainder of the barrel. Uh, I really like the grooves here. They take a metal section, which is rather steep and has the potential to be very slick, into something I feel is comfortable to use. Your grip really is not going anywhere on this pen. Plus, I just like the looks of the design. 
the cap does snap to post. The mechanism works very well. The cap is held very securely. It's not going anywhere. However, I do find that posting throws off the balance of the pen and makes it a bit unwieldy. So I prefer to use this pen unposted and it's plenty long enough to do so. Um, I like the overall weight of this pen. As I mentioned previously, the base is brass. Um, it has enough heft to give it a very quality feel and what I like to describe as a good weight, but it's not so heavy that writing becomes burdensome. This is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided as well as a single cartridge. Um, with the abundance of metal in this pen, eye dropping would not be recommended. The SD DuPont Line D Gold Dust retails for $1,295. At authorized SD DuPont dealers, you will find it for approximately 20% less, bringing the price down to $1036. Uh, this is a luxury brand, and their pens indeed have luxury prices. Uh, SD DuPont really feels like a quality writing instrument, though, and uh, as you will see in the writing sample, I find the nibs on SD DuPont pens to be outstanding. Um, I don't currently own an SD DuPont pen, but I can envision one making its way into my collection one day. Uh, perhaps the model I mentioned getting a sneak peek at earlier. If that model performs as good as it looks, I can imagine picking one of those up. We'll see. But in regard to the pen at hand, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the SD DuPont Line D Gold Dust. I wanted to give you another closer look at that. Um, I know that the dust is very subtle in there but it does it is there and i think that it adds a lot to this pen and it looks really nice uh, in regard to some size comparisons uh, i mentioned before that the cap reminded me of the mont blanc star walker and that's what that one looks like then here is a sailor king of pin in royal tangerine and here is another mont blanc and this one is the 149. Here it is with the Pelican M1000 and a Visconti Divina Maxi. And then finally, here it is with a Pilot Custom Arushi. In regard to uncapped comparisons, here it is with the King of Pen and the Mont Blanc 149. And finally, here it is with the Pelican M1000. Here we go with the writing sample for the ST DuPont. And this is the Line D Gold Dust. This is a medium 14 karat gold nib, and the ink that I'm using is SD DuPont Royal Blue. This is what the ink looks like. I will say that it shows up a little darker on the page than it does uh, on the swab here. And then in regard to a couple of other royal blues, that's what it looks like with the Pelican 4001 royal blue, which is a little bit darker. Uh, Caveco royal blue is even darker than that. And then one more royal blue, which is the Faber-Castell royal blue. This is what the bottle looks like. I don't know if they still make them in these bottles. This was a little oddly shaped bottle and it can be difficult to get a nib in here. Uh, but this is the only SD DuPont ink that I have, but it is very nice. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, the highlight of any SD DuPont review that I've done uh, is this nib. Uh, they are outstanding. Uh, that it has a, a little bit of feedback to it. I'll say a good amount of feedback. Um, that the ink flow is decent on here. You can, like I showed, 
get a little bit of line variation out of here in regard to reverse writing. If I can actually make a W, it worked well. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up nicely as well. It just provides a really good writing experience. So there we have the SD DuPont Line D Gold Dust. Um, I think this is an interesting addition to the Line D line. And like I mentioned before, I look forward to the other new additions to the SD DuPont lineup that they have coming out in the near future. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.